Let's talk about how to get going. The how is actually quite straightforward. First of all, it's important for you to make a conscious decision that this is something you want to do. Take some time to pray about getting started. Ask God to prompt you and give you a prayerful burden for a few people and to prepare you to make the ask. It often helps when we are praying about who to invite to make a list of people that you know, whether that's family, friends, neighbours and colleagues. Pray through the list and ask God to help you ask them. It's also useful to gain an insight into the many contacts God has given you by scanning through your phone contacts, your social media profiles, or think about who's on your street and in your workplace. As you pray, talking to our Heavenly Father about your desire to share his word, ask him to help you to offer it to people. Think of it as embarking on an exciting adventure with the Lord. Remember, in Matthew 28 verse 20, Jesus promises to always be with us as we seek to make disciples. I know from experience, when I first decided I wanted to use the word one-to-one, -one, I really prayed and God brought somebody into my life to get started with. Then he also helped me ask other people who were already in my life, like family, friends, previous colleagues and neighbours. It's fair to say that the most difficult part of sharing God's word is inviting someone to read with you. All of us can be nervous or intimidated by the prospect. We also often underestimate how open people are to the opportunity of spending time with us and learning about what we believe. So let's finish this session by looking at some top tips you can practice as you prepare to invite someone to read with you. Tip number one, cast the net wide. We don't know who will say yes. The Lord knows, but we don't. So try not to rule people out in your own mind before you've actually asked them. Never say a person's no for them. Tip number two, be clear in what you are asking. This might sound surprising, but it is not usually helpful to say, would you like to read the Bible with me? Because the Bible is a massive book and they might think, how long is that going to take? Instead, you should be more specific by saying something like, hey, I've got these booklets that take you through one of the books of the Bible with some notes. You might even show them the book and then say, would you like to look at the first 18 sentences with me over a coffee? It'll only take about half an hour and it starts with a really good summary of what I believe. I'd love to show you to see what you think. Tip number three, be confident. When others invite you along to the things they love, they do so with excitement. We ought to display a similar conviction about the wonderful thing we are offering them. Tip number four, make it as commitment free as possible for them. You're not asking them to commit to reading the whole of John's gospel with you. Just take it one step at a time. You could say something like, there's no pressure at all for us to keep going. We can just look at the first 18 sentences and if you don't enjoy it, we can leave it there. Tip number five, be yourself. Use your own words. And finally, tip number six, be prepared for a no. It doesn't mean you're going to get a no every time you ask someone, but if you do, that's okay. I've had a few no's from people but we're still friends. Besides, they might even change their mind at some point. Often a no is not never ever, but simply not now.